What's up guys? This is my first YouTube tutorial, so let's get straight into it. Today I'm going to be teaching you a Unity 3D tutorial on how to move your character with the joystick, jump with a button, pick up 3D game objects, and store those game objects in a text box at the top of the screen. So let's get started. First things first, you need to set up the ground of your game. So you right click, 3D object, plane. Let's actually scale it up just a little bit. So you have more freedom of where to move. Right click, create material. Let's change the color of it. So let's make it a light pink so you can easily tell. All you do is you drag it on. There you go, color's changed. And now let's make your game object, your player. So sphere. And do you see how the sphere is being clipped by the plane? Now you raise it up by 0.5, and it's sitting exactly on it. Let's change the color of the sphere too, make it easily visible. So let's create a new material, and let's make it light green. Drag it onto the sphere. All right, there you go. Next, let's create your pickup objects. So, 3D object, let's start with some cubes. And there you go. Let's make it a little bit smaller so that you can tell the difference. All right, there you are. Pick it up a little bit. And I always use this tool because you can rotate, you can scale, and move it around. So, let's put the first cube over here. And Command or Control D copies the items. So let's put the next one over here. Next one over here. And fourth one right there. Okay. And keep it all nice and tidy. Let's create a blank game object. Name it Pickups. So you just highlight them all. Shift click them all. Drag them into Pickups. There you go. Easily visible. The next step is to create the canvas that holds all of the, your picked up items, the joystick, and the button that allows you to jump. So let's right click, go to UI, canvas. And the event system, by the way, you need to have because it allows the canvas to function and without it, you won't be able to move the joystick or the button. So it's very important. So to create it, let's, let's double click on it. Let's hit 2D up in the corner over here so that you can easily see this rectangle. The rectangle, by the way, is your mobile screen, your, let's say, of your iPhone. So now let's create a text object for the coins. And let's just title it coins. Need to make it a bit bigger, so let's just extend that. And let's make it 100. All right, perfect. And bold it. So what you want to do is in this square right here, you hit Command Option Corner, and then it brings it to the corner of your game screen. And if that's a little too close for you, you can always just drag it out. Next step is to create the joystick. So what you want to do in the joystick pack that I've included in the description, you double click on it, go to prefabs, and let's go to fix joystick. Yours won't look like this, mine was already edited, but what you can do to edit it, because I believe yours starts off looking something like this. What you can do is hit, again, the corner. Uh, actually, let's change the size first. So, unpack the prefab. Here, let's change it to divided by three, divided by three, and same thing with the handle, divided by three, which is the circle in the middle, by the way. All right, perfect. So now what you want to do is click on the fixed joystick, click on this right here, option command, lower corner. That's a little bit too far, so what you can do is easily just drag it out and boom. All right, next step is to create your button. So on Canvas, right click, and you go to UI, 
button. Yeah, that's a pretty crappy looking button. So what you want to do is change. Let's make it 80 by 80. Let's make it bigger. Let's do 150 by 150. All right, that's good enough. So now, if you go to the corner, again, op command option, sets it in the corner, or what you can do is drag it out a little bit, and see how it says button? We don't need that text, so let's change it. One cool function about the button is you can change the color, the highlighted color, and it's pressed, along with a couple other options. So let's change the normal color to light pink, the highlighted color to green, and when pressed, blue. So you'll easily be able to see it. And lastly, we're going to add in our scripts. There's a link in the description where you can easily just download, copy, and paste them in. Make life a little bit easier. So we can start with the sphere. What you do is you add a rigid body. It allows it to react with Unity's physics system. And we go to controller. That allows you to move with the joystick. Or jump, which lets you jump with the button, go up and down. The speed determines how high you can jump. The jump delay determines how long you have to wait until you jump again. And the coin collect, which checks to see if your object that you're trying to pick up has a tag. And it changes and increases by one every time you pick something up. So the coins will increase. Now you drag in that coins text. And let's go add in you you add the tag but I already made it so coin text and you select is trigger for all of them because it's an inch trigger function now for the button plus you drag in your player because it has the jump function so start let's jump our buttons all set and for the camera so we want it to follow our player around because we're going to be rolling. So you can see how it looks. Let's make it go up a little bit more and angle it down. Perfect. And now let's drag in our player so it knows what to follow. And that should be it. So let's give it a try. All right. So we're moving. We pick up the cubes. The count goes up. And there you go. Now it jumps. There you go. All right, guys, that's it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, keep updated with my channel because I'm going to keep posting YouTube tutorials for Unity 3D. So, have a good one.